Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to HMA web design in this video we are going to learn the 10 input types in HTML which are mostly used to create HTML forms first of all please don't forget to press like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for the latest updates let's start the video first of all let's start creating an HTML form tag and inside the form tag we are going to create the our input fields which will be included in our form first of all we have to write the label tag label tag is used to describe the input field first input is enter first name the type of this input is text and name of the input is first name placeholder is first name placeholder is just a faded text which will be displayed inside the input field hr for the horizontal line to separate the each input in our form And our second input type is input type password let's copy paste all the above input and let's change this enter password type of this input is password this input will allow user to enter password and password will not be displayed to the user and it's the output this is we can enter password now let's move further our next input type is input type submit hr for the horizontal line Let's copy and paste the previous code and we are changing this code. This input type is submit, name of the input is submit and value of the submit. This will create a submit button which will be used to submit the form. Our next input type is type reset. This will create a reset button in our HTML form which will be reset all of the input field which have been filled earlier. This input type is reset. Value of this input is reset. This will create a reset button in our form so here here we is here is it let's type any password and press a reset button then password will be reset now our next input type is type radio let's create layer label tag What is your favorite color? This is very important input type in HTML forms. This input type will allow user to select only one input from main inputs. input type is radio and name of the input is color first value is red second value is green let's create a third value which is black and name of the input should be same which is color 
and value of this input will be different this input will allow user to select only one option out of many given options out of multiple option user can select only one option now let's move further next input type is checkbox this type is very similar to radio type but the difference is that in this input user can select more than one option so here the name of the input will be different in the previous input radio type we have written the name of the input same and in this in this input type name of the input is different which will allow user to select their favorite fruit type is checkbox input name is fruit 2 fruit 2 is apple let's change third input banana value of this input is banana and name of this input is fruit 3 name of all these input will be different because user can select multiple options in this input as we can see here we can select all options as we want next move further the next input is input type button let's write label tag what is your name let's create input tag and input tag in html don't have an end tag it is only a single tag input type text name of the input name now next input type button and value of the input is submit this input will also create a submit button which will be used to submit the form data to the web server here is our input we can submit the name using the submit button next right here we are going to write the next input type next type is input type file the file input in html is very important which will allow user to select and submit any file from the computer label for computer uh, input is file select a file to upload input type is file name of the input is file id is file and this id should match to the for attribute in the label tag id attribute will be similar to the for attribute user can select here only single file if we want to select multiple file from our computer so we have to change our input with the attribute like multiple this multiple attribute will allow us to select multiple file from our computer now we can select more than one file and upload these files to our web page our next input type is type image label for image what is your name we can also make image a input we can also use any image a input when user click click on this image then data will be submit let's create this image 
source of this image logo.png this is this is the image name and id of this input is image now user can submit the form data by clicking on this image let's refresh our page this image has been created here we need to decrease the width of the image let's create a couple of line breaks to display the input in separate line here we have to write label for name because we are demanding the user to enter their name input type text name is name a placeholder is name no user can enter the name in this input field no we can change the width of the image less 50 pixel no image size will be reduced to 50 pixels no when user press on the image the data will be submit to the server next input type is input type search the label tag label for search search here now let's write the input tag input type search this input type will allow user to search the information this input type is specific to search purpose the idea of the input is search now this search has been created we can also disable the auto completion in the search if we add the auto complete of then the search suggestion will not be displayed when we click inside the search